everyone, Julia here from Shining Star Readings. Now don't laugh, but this is take number seven. So I've left the original cards because I had a feeling that things were going to go a little bit AWOL tonight, given that we are going into Mercury retrograde tomorrow. So I didn't want to take any chances. So take seven, let's see if we can nail it. So let's have a look and see what we've got for the beginning of the week. Whoops, I'm dropping it now. We have the full card. Now, as I said, we're going to Mercury Retrograde tomorrow. It's in Gemini and it lasts for about three weeks. We also have a new moon in Taurus tomorrow. So I'm really happy to see the full card because it really does talk about new beginnings. It's about embarking on that new journey, isn't it? Um, and as I'm looking at the card today, all I can see are the rainbows. Now my grandpa always used to say there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow um, and I do feel that with this particular card today so great time on Monday to send out your new moon wishes and start manifesting what you want to bring in or you want the universe to bring in around you okay as a real happy upbeat feel to this card today. So moving on to the middle of the week, we have another card from the Major Arcana. Wow, look at that, the Chariot. So middle of the week, you may feel as if you're being pulled in two different directions, okay? These may be emotional struggles, um, but what I wanna say is it's all about keeping your focus on what your end goal or destination is because as I'm looking at the card, I'm immediately taken up here, okay? So I know that's important. You've got to keep going with that determination and perseverance. I also wanna give you communication because they're now showing me this telegraph pole here. Now remember, communication can go a little bit AWOL. So just take everything with a pinch of salt during this retrograde, really. Um, I think it's good to have a little bit of a sense of humour if things do get a little bit muddled or mislaid during this time. Um, also want to give you, going on now aren't I, sorry, um, if any of you are going on a car journey, and I don't mean just the, the usual commute, but if you're going out for a day trip or a holiday, I just want to say make sure that you check the oil, the water, the tyres, all the usual car checks because another meaning for the chariot is car trouble. Okay, so I'm just throwing that in there quite randomly, um, but I have a feeling it's gonna affect one or two of you. Okay, so, wow. <laughs> we have another card from the Major Arcana. Look at that, number 14 this time. And it's the Temperance card, which is very much about relationships and patience. So patience within a situation, maybe within a relationship, maybe you need to be pulling your weight a little bit more in a relationship, or maybe somebody around you isn't, and you feel as if you're having to pull up the slack, shall we say. Now, as I'm looking at the card today, I can, I'm very much drawn to Hannah here and Steffi here. So you can immediately see the closeness, the happiness, now I want to say maybe that's got a little bit lost at the moment so we want to bring that back because they're also showing me this dark fence where it's almost as if we're hitting barriers, you know we feel as if there's a block at the moment however if we get over that fence you can see this tree here which we know is green, we know it's all about growth, abundance, the colour green we can link into the heart chakra so it's all there We've just got to overcome these issues and maybe put in a little bit more effort over Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So, bit of an interesting week with three major arcanas. Um, please let me know how your week goes. Feel free to share my video with anybody else who you think may benefit. Thank you for watching and if anybody would like their own personal reading or weekly reading, all the readings I do can be found on my website www.shiningstarreadings.simple.com and I look forward to interacting with you all next week. Thank you for watching, take care, bye.